If you're a cloud engineer sticking with Azure, you might be leaving money on the table. Right now, AWS engineers are outpacing Azure, and that's in salary, demand, and career growth. And while Microsoft is great at bundling services under its massive umbrella of Azure M365, AWS is still dominating when it comes to efficient cloud services and real enterprise adoption. And the thing is, a lot of people won't make that switch if they're already at a company that's using Azure. They're too uncomfortable to move over to AWS for some reason, but I wasn't. They'll stick to what they know, hesitate, and just watch AWS engineers get ahead. If you don't want to be that person, I'm going to tell you exactly why I'm leaving Azure behind and solely focusing on AWS going forward. Now, this shift could be vital for my career over the next five years, even your career. If you don't know who I am, I'm Tech Toby. I've been in the technology industry for over a decade. And I've spent the last three years as a client engineer working my way up from the entry level to senior. I've had hundreds of people land jobs, transition to better paying roles, and today I'm gonna to break down exactly why I'm leaving Azure for AWS and why you might wanna do the same. Probably why you clicked on this video. You're curious. Now I wanna start with the biggest reason and AWS pays more and it has more opportunity. Now for example, I live in the UK. AWS is going to be investing $8 billion over the next five years, creating 14,000 more jobs. And this isn't speculation, this is just a direct shift in where the cloud industry is heading. AWS is still the leader in just pure cloud adoption. Their services are more efficient and they've been around much longer. And there's one thing that AWS is capable of is it's giving the engineers an unfair advantage in the job market. And you know, most engineers don't really think about this when choosing a cloud provider. They just learn whatever their company is using and assume they're set, but that's a mistake. And the reality shift I kind of had was that I was sort of specializing in a lower demand cloud platform when I could have been building skills that paid more. I sort of went down this multi cloud engineering route and if you're using both, it can be overwhelming, especially when you juggle between each one. And I just don't want to do that anymore. And I want to give myself more leverage where if I specialize in one cloud and get really, really good at it, I have a better opportunity in my career. Now moving on to my second point, um, why I prefer AWS over Azure is the whole structure of how the cloud platforms have been built. Now my biggest frustration with Azure is there are just too many layers of management. You've got tenants, you've got management groups, you've got subscriptions, you've got resource groups. It's just a mess. AWS on the other hand, they keep it simple. Organizational units and accounts. And if you don't even have OU set up, you just set up accounts. The way I think of it is Azure structure is like a set of Russian nesting dolls. AWS is more of a well-organized filing cabinet. Everything is just where it needs to be and there's no unnecessary complexity. But here's the thing that gets even worse. Azure structure isn't just annoying, it slows you down. And I'm gonna explain why in a second. Extra layers in Azure just means more configuration, more permissions to manage, and more time spent troubleshooting instead of building. I like to ship fast. And I feel like Azure restricts that. It's kind of like AWS is made for devs and people who want to focus on product, whereas Azure are sort of stuck in that bureaucracy, red tape enterprise solution. And in my opinion, technology speed is everything. The faster you can spin up environments, deploy services, troubleshoot issues, the more valuable you are. And I think AWS wins because it just lets you focus on the work, not the bureaucracy. And that's why so many companies prefer AWS and it's the most used. There's less red tape, more efficiency, faster deployments. Now, if you're one of those engineers who just likes to get things done, AWS has the better ecosystem. You know, the other week I was um, working with one client and they wanted to have um, a storage account, like a blob container set up. And it's all done on Terraform, of course. So to, I, you need to think about the automation tools you're using as well and how they work with those cloud platforms. Now, on AWS, if I want an S3 bucket, I just create an S3 bucket, one resource on Terraform. Sure, you can add on, you know, the IAM permissions on top and all the other things, add on all your attributes. Now, <laughs> if you want that on Azure, you have to create the resource group, create the storage account, create the blob container, design all the permissions to it on top of that. So there's way more code you need to write when you could just write less on AWS and shit faster. You see what I mean? And that brings me on to my final point and the most important shift happening in cloud right now and one that could define your career. The future of cloud is specialization. Right now, companies aren't looking for cloud engineers. They're looking for specialists for the future. 
Although a lot of companies have already migrated to the cloud, the companies that have need those specialists. The companies who are still adopting, they probably don't need them as much. So once you've progressed from junior, mid-level, senior, you have a decision to make. And that decision is, do I specialize or do I go down um, solutions architecture um, and get more in front of the customer? So you could move on to something like cloud security engineering or cloud network engineering or focus on machine learning. Being a generalist isn't enough when you're past senior. The reality is you have to specialize. And a lot of people, they take a little bit of everything. It's the mistake they make. They don't go deep in one area. And that's why eventually you struggle to stand out the more senior you get. If you stay surface level, you're always going to be competing with engineers who are more specialized and more valued. Every job posting you see for AWS is going to ask for a niche skill set. So if you're just good at cloud, you're already behind. So I think the key for the future for myself and other people within AWS is picking a specialty, whether it's dev slack ops, um, cloud security engineering, networking, AI and ML. Whatever interests you, just double down on it. Companies are always gonna pay more for specialists. And that's how you future-proof your career. And that brings me full circle. If you wanna be ahead of the curve, I think right now, AWS is the one. So I want to recap on everything I've just spoken about there. AWS is investing a lot, it's creating more jobs, it pays more, the structure is more efficient, which makes engineers more productive. And the key element, once you've reached those senior areas, is specializing, stop being a generalist. Now, in my opinion, I myself and you have two options. Ignore all of this, stick with what's comfortable and just watch AWS pull ahead. You know, it's already the biggest out there. And the more I kind of thought about it is every day I wait is another day where people who just focus on AWS get ahead. And if I kept using both, I'm not going to reach that specialization that I need in my career. Now, I'm not saying I'm never going to use Azure again, because the reality is every company I've worked for apart from will use both. And there has to be some element of using both in your career. I think my take on it is that if I get put with a client that is using Azure or is a bit of a more focused to Azure heavy shop, it's not something that I'm really going to be thinking in my spare time, oh, I'm going to learn about these extra services coming up. I'm going to spend dedicated more time to learning more things with Azure and specializing in it. In my spare time, I'm just going to be focusing on AWS now instead of doing both. But one thing I need to think of is where do I specialize? So look out for that video when I decide.